School Spotlight, sponsored by Southern Housing, Boy Scouts of America, Natchez Trace Council, Room to Room, and King City Church. Grenada Elementary School is doing what they can to prepare your child for this important first step in their education. For today's School Spotlight, we are talking to principal at Grenada Elementary School, Cole Sorrell. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. So what are your goals as principal for this new school year? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, probably our biggest goal every year is to build relationships with our kids. Um, we, uh, we're a pretty large school. We've got about 1,500 students uh, pre-K uh, through third grade. And um, so uh, we can't teach them if um, we don't have those relationships. And so it sure makes it easier for our administrators and our teachers to get to know them and, uh, and just be able to, to gain knowledge of what they're coming from each and every day. Right. Now, do you expect any challenges that your school may face this year or that, you know, not just your school, but education field as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, here in, in Grenada, one of the biggest challenges that we face is uh, attendance. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, with being an elementary school, we deal with uh, just a lot of the common colds and sicknesses that kids this age get and uh and so just making sure that they're here um they uh we can't teach them if they're not with us and so um just making sure that they're here and prepared every day yeah and we talked a little bit about it this morning y'all have a kidsium can you tell us what this is and what how it, it helps your students yeah that's that's awesome y'all really need to come uh check that out if yeah. you ever have an opportunity we uh we have a children's museum that is built into our school. And so each nine weeks uh, we rotate uh, units. And so they learn about different cultures and uh, it's very hands on. We have a, a section of that called Kids Tech, where we uh, do a lot of coding, uh, have green screens to where they can do the weather, kind of like you guys do. <laughs> um, really neat, uh, really neat setup. And we, we start that as young as three years old. So we, uh, we have some of our three-year-olds in there coding robots and stuff. So pretty, pretty cool oh uh, my area. I bet they're some way smarter than I am. Now, <laughs> right. as we um, get this day started, and for any parents that may be at home right now listening, what are some advice that you may give them? Yeah, I, I think with parents, the, the biggest thing is to ask questions. Um, a lot of times as administrators and teachers, we don't know what you don't know. And um, and so it's great to, to be able to ask and just stay in communication with our, um, you know, with our staff every day. Uh, a lot of parents don't realize the, the resources that schools have. And we have a lot of stuff that can help you at home. Uh, and we're eager to share that. Um, oftentimes, it's just a question that is the uh, the barrier to be able to to give them that knowledge. So just just ask. That's some great advice. And you know, our meteorologist Chelsea and I are both new moms and our kids will be at school in the next few years. So that's some great advice to know right now. Uh, I know you're busy with the new school year and a new day starting. So we appreciate you taking the time to join us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you all for having me.